three, and there's some tough ones. The first word we need to know is the word come in. Repeat that after me. Come in. Common. Tag is a common game that children like. Common. Something that is common to a group of people is shared by all of them. So, to define common, if something is common to a group of people, it is shared by them. So I want you to think about, at recess, what are some common games you guys play? Hayden, what's a common game? Um, me, Lewis, and Arden, and Riley, um, we usually play football. Football, that's a alley. common game. How about rain? Um, sometimes we play tag. Tag, that's a common game. Cool. Game, good. Wyatt? Uh, me and my brother sometimes play hide and seek. Hide and seek, that's definitely a common game. Brooklyn? Sometimes Libby, Elia, Kinsley, Ingrid, Addie, and me, um, we play house. Okay, common game. How about Abby? Common game. actor in the play wore a colorful costume. Costume. A costume is clothing you wear to look like something or someone else. So a costume is clothing that you wear to look like something or something else. So I want you to think, what has been your favorite Halloween costume that you've had? Raise your hand if you've had a favorite Halloween costume and just give me one. Rain. Black Panther. Black Panther. Hayden. Um, my killer clown. Okay. Addie, what was your favorite costume? The clown was the really thing. Okay. Why it was your favorite costume? My Navy. What what? My Navy. Costume. Your Navy costume from this year. Mason, what was your favorite costume? Pennywise. Okay. Um, uh, Brooklyn. Oh, uh, vampire. Vampire? Ingrid? The witch. The witch. Okay. All right, so costumes. We know what costume is because you wear costumes at Halloween. L-E-F. Mine is Cindy Lou Who. Oh, Cindy Lou Who. Okay. All right, now this next word looks very similar to costume, but what do you notice about it? What do you notice about this word? And then let's look back at this other word. They look very similar. Costume. Braylon? There's an O and then there's not an E. There's not an E, but there's an S to set. So this word is custom. Can you repeat that after me? Ready? Custom. Oh, repeat that. Custom. Customs. A turkey dinner and a family gathering are Thanksgiving customs. So a custom is what a group of people have something that they do over and over again. So I want you to think about a holiday that you have at your house. And what is a custom that you do? For example, at my house, a custom that we do is right before we go to bed on Christmas Eve and wait for Santa to come, we always read the book the night before Christmas. We do that every year. That's, a, that's our custom. That's what our family does. Please don't be playing with me. What's a custom? Um, 
What's a custom that you do, Elie? Um, I, I, um, I, I, um, I don't Carson, what's a custom you do at your house? Right before Christmas, we make cookies, and then after making cookies, uh, we show off the lights and watch the Christmas movie. Perfect. I like that custom. Do you make the cookies for Santa, too? Perfect. And then we make some for us, and we eat And then cake. we eat some, too. All right. Why? What's a custom that you do? Um, I, we watch a Christmas movie, and then, like, e Ethan gets his tablet, or my brother and we turn on the Yule Log. Oh, and one time this year on Christmas Eve, we I was still up and Ethan was too, and I saw Santa's lights. Thank you very much. Very cool. That's a good custom. Addie, what's a custom you do? Oh. Well, um, I don't know what the Easter Bunny is going to do this year, but um, it sends me pictures. The Easter Bunny sends you pictures? Yeah. And same with Santa Claus. Oh my gosh. That's a good one. That's a good one. Lisa, what's a custom your family does? Well, someone has a custom. Why does the old man get the bake? The Why is he baking? He's mm. the cook, I guess. He's the cook. He likes cooking. All right, I'm going to take a couple more if you don't. Elias, what's a custom you do? Oh, yeah, it's going to be too short. Eat turkey for Thanksgiving. That's a very good custom. Rain. You celebrate Halloween. And what is a custom that you probably always do every Halloween? Just dress up. Dress up, do go trick or treating. And then go trick or treating. That's and definitely eat all your candy. That you guys probably all do. Hayden. Um, I, um, I got cookies for Santa and I left them out from me. Perfect. You leave Santa juice? Yeah, I know. Good custom. I do juice. And the last one, Carla. Oh, wait, Carla, your friends are kind of being rude right now. All right, Gorla, now they're being respectful. Go ahead. Yeah, for Valentine's Day, a custom is normally you make or decorate a box to put your Valentine's in. Because look at our counter, or our heater over there. So excellent, excellent custom examples. Okay, now this next word is my favorite word. Guess what it is? Favorite. Favorite. Now, it looks like it should say fave or it. Fave. Fave or it. That's how you should sound it out. It breaks the rules. It breaks the rules. It's a rule breaker. It's a sight word, so we cannot sound this word out. But when you try to spell it, you can remember spell it fave or and then it with a e that jumps over to make the i long. But the word is favorite. Favorite. Autumn is our favorite season because we like cool weather best. All right, so favorite is something you like the best. So right now, I want you to think, what is your favorite color? And I'm going to come around and tap, I'm gonna tap a point at you, and you step, tell me your favorite color. Blue and black. Blue and black. Pink and purple. Blue and black. Uh, green and blue. Red. Um, red, purple, and blue. <laughs> Olive green. Olive green, oh. Uh, white, uh, gold, silver, and black. Yeah, I already said it. Yeah. The rainbow. The rainbow. I don't have Gold, green. blue, and green, and oh. then teal. I have four. Military green, and, and, um, and blue. your favorite color. What? What's your favorite color? We're talking about favorite. Orange. Orange. So favorite we know is something you like the best. All right. And then I have green. All right. Oh, yeah. Our chef's uh, uh, favorite word uh, is the word parade. Repeat after me. Ready? Parade. I want to be parade. Our school band.
band marches in town parade. Don't leave that up there. It's mine. Leave it there. I need to get done and put your time in that because I put it up there because it has to get done today. They're going in our journals. I know it's yours, but just leave it up there. It's a reminder because you guys like to put your stuff in your desk and then you don't hand it in and then you get a zero for it because it's still in your desk. Okay, praise. So praise are large groups of people like that include bands that move through a public place and a lot of times it's for a special event. So I want you to tell me, what are some things that you see at a parade when you go? I know we didn't have parades this last year, but when you go to a parade, what do you normally see? Rain? Um, people marching and then like people throwing candy. Yep, people marching and people throwing candy. Good examples. Ellie, what do you see? I see people sometimes playing instruments. Playing instruments, just like on here. Good job. Brooklyn, what do you see in the parade? Uh, sometimes I uh, mostly see people uh, by, by my uh, my house. Um, Gold's house. Um, down the street, um, he. Um, okay, but what are they doing? Tell um, us. They, uh, can't, they, like, they're on like these things like there's like they mostly use trucks and then they put like they decorate it with like um like christmas and they put like santa and like blown up stuff on okay. there and then they throw candies off of it and sometimes if you're lucky you get a ride on it okay what are those called does anyone I know? Don't know i don't know they have a name not necessarily a necessary truck why a float they're called a float yeah and so there's floats and parades why what else we're actually in the parade sometimes you are so. in the parade we I was in the blue. In Swiss City, um, we get we get my my um my papa's old old um two two wheel drive tractor. Yeah. It's, it's an old like yeah, an old tractor. We hook it up to our trailer, and then mom mom works in Swiss City. Yep. At a barber shop. So. Um, she, Go put that on my desk, please. She put, she puts yep. like her sign up there, yep. and sometimes I sit in yep. a chair. So to and pro then, pro promote a business a lot of times. And then one time, my my other friends at when we used to be in daycare, we we would walk around like in front of my right. My um the quote Papa's tractor and we we would see sometimes when we're gathering stuff we would see like these marines. Yeah, I was just gonna say a lot of times at the start of the parade there's usually one that goes by. Oh like like the forces, the forces, or sometimes the police and officers, then, or the fire trucks, or the flag. Or the U.S. Army. I hate yeah. the fire trucks. Like, okay. Maybe we, if I'm lucky enough, like, if there is a parade, yeah. maybe if I'm lucky enough, I'll get to drive the tractor with my cousin. Okay, so tractors is another example. Okay, last three. Eddie. Oh, sorry. Sometimes oh. I end up in the parade. Yep, sometimes you're in the parade. Good. Hated. Um, usually, um, sometimes though they give out bracelets or yeah. hot yeah. cocoa. Good. So they sometimes get up, give up. Thank you. Other things than Thank just you. candy. Okay. Last thing, Ellie. Yes. Oh, just a second, Ellie. Your friends are talking again. I can't hear you. Surrounded. We were surrounded by flowers. Surrounded. If something is surrounded by something else, the first thing is closed in on all sides by the second thing. So, if you are surrounded by something, you are closed in at all sides with it. So, for example, I want you to think which bodies of water are surrounded by land. Is it oceans, lakes, ponds, rivers, or a pool? Who knows what is surrounded by land? There's five choices, but only three of them are surrounded by land. So I have ocean.
ocean, lake, pond, river, pool. Mm -hmm. Let me call on someone who I haven't called on. John, which one? Put that away, John. What is surrounded by land? Island. A what? Island. Uh, no, island surrounded by water. What is surrounded by land? Island wasn't one of my choices. Ocean, lake, pond, river, pool. What do you think, Raylan? Pool, river, lake. Well, pool for sure. So you have a pool of water, and all around the pool is is the uh, land. Ocean. What else do you think? Pool is one. Lewis? Um, ocean. Ocean. Not always surrounded by. I mean, it has land by it, but not always surrounded by it. Wait, let me clean. Wait. Yeah. Rain? A lake. So if you're in a lake, you're all a lake is enclosed, and so you're you can be surrounded by land. And then there's one more. So I have a pool, a lake. Ellie? Nope. Because the river goes out to the ocean. So then when it goes to the ocean, it's touching the water. I don't know the third thing. So what would be the third one? What 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 one is kind of like a lake? Abby? A pond. A pond. A pond. It's just like I didn't even know you said pond. Yep. I did. Okay, all right, we got two more vocabulary words. Our next word is travels. Repeat after me. Travels. Travels. The car travels along the road. Travels. If someone travels to a place, he or she makes a trip there. So if someone travels, he or she makes a trip there. So I want you to think about different ways you have traveled somewhere. Ingrid. To my cabin, my grandma's. How do you get there, though? Um, on the road. On the road doing what? How are you traveling? Driving. Driving a what? A car. A car. That's one way. Car or vehicle. Brooklyn, how do you travel? Uh, Stop raining. So if you wonder about something, you think about it because you're curious about it. So right now, I want you to close your eyes, and I want you to think, and I want you to wonder about something. For example, Mrs. Murphy's going to wonder about, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to wonder, when is it going to get warmer? So I want you to think and wonder. 